Hello crafty friends, it's Antonia here recording a new process video for the Stick It Down blog and this time I am using the July 2020 double page sketch. So this month I am trying a voiceover which is a new thing for me, something I have been very very reluctant um, to try so just bear with me please. So this month I am using one of the new collections from Simple Stories, uh, which is the Great Escape collection. Something I have been waiting with great anticipation to arrive in the post and it finally has, well some of it anyways. Um, so yeah, very excited about it. Um, and in here I am trying to find um, the perfect paper to mat my photos, some of my photos on. Um, and I was quite tempted to use that dark wood grain, um, but I wasn't sure about it. I was also I also quite liked um, the paler one, which is from uh, one of the other um, Simple Stories collection, um, which I quite liked, but it just didn't give the right contrast to the layout really. Um, so in the end, I did go back to the darker wood grain. Um, and then I'm using that journal card where we belong um, instead of one of the photos because that was just the perfect uh, journal card for this um, layout. So yeah, here I am matting um, four of the photos um, as specified by the sketch. And uh, then in here I am looking through the 4x4 four four journaling cards. Um, I wanted to put the journaling on the left hand side as specified by the sketch. Um, but then I have found that there was far too much um, empty space left on the right hand side. So I decided to put the journaling there and replace the journaling card with just a filler card. Um, and then... I was trying to find the perfect paper to mat the 4x6 paper on and that one came from one of the other Simple Stories um, collections which is I think the Vintage Garden and then I had to crop um, the 4x4 journal card on the left hand side down a bit um, to fit the, fit the page. So this is my favourite part of the scrapbooking process. Uh, just going through all the embellishments and stickers um, to find the perfect pieces for my three embellishment clusters which will be placed slightly differently uh, from what is specified on the sketch. That is just the perfect embellishment piece on the right hand side to put um, at the bottom of that photo. So I'm just looking for bits and pieces to layer um, over and under um, and I couldn't really find anything suitable in the embellishment pack. So what I've done was I have offset that piece of embellishment with um, dimensional adhesive and then I got one of the frames from the sticker sheet, um, put it on vellum, cut around it um, and I used that um, to put, to tuck underneath really um, just kind of giving and that, that gives a nice layer. I find that using the vellum is actually quite good because otherwise it just the frame looks as if something's missing but the vellum takes that away that effect away so that's quite good and then because there was already one of those greenish yellowish um, butterflies um, in that cluster I chose um, a smaller um, rusty orangey color one um, and I repeated that one on the left hand side on the 4x6 photo uh, just to build some cohesion really. Uh, 
and then in here I'm just looking for smaller pieces oh I used um, the other half of the frame there which is something I tried to do otherwise I would never use it up um, and then what I'm trying to do is use that rust color in all three embellishment clusters um, and because there is no butterfly in that bottom one I'm going to use the little greenish yellowish butterfly there um, and then I'm repeating some of the fern pattern um, with the die cut pieces and then I'm looking for smaller pieces to add to the embellishment clusters um, loads of phrases because there are loads of phrases in this collection which is great it works for me just fine So in here I have marked where the butterfly's wings would be on the right hand side because I'm going to use that empty space for journaling and I wouldn't want the journaling to be covered up by the embellishment. But first I am placing those four little paper squares. And then I decided to use some sequins instead of paint splatters. Um, I wanted to keep this layout cleaner. Um, I was a bit worried because, because it came, out, came together quite easily uh, and it is quite busy really. Um, I just wanted to keep it clean and when I use paint splatters there's always a chance of things going wrong and I didn't I didn't want to risk that risk that so I have used some sequins And I'm not going to show the whole process of sticking them on because it's not necessary, really. And that's it, really. There's the final journaling and the close-ups. Thank you for watching my process video. And don't forget to check back to the Stick It Down blog throughout the month for new inspiration every week. Thanks for visiting. Bye!